I'm here on Damien Bailey's farm in Kilnehu in Gorey and I'm going to talk to Damien about uh, his use of pasture base. Damien has been using pasture base for the last four years and finds it useful. Uh, Damien is finishing, well he's fattening uh, about 150 heifers on 70 acres here in, in Kilnehu. I've been using pasture base for the last four years. It's nearly essential to, when you're finishing cattle to have good quality grass the cheapest feed you can get into the cattle at all times during the year. Pasture base will tell me if I have a surplus of grass at any time during the season which I can cut for bale silage or if there's going to be a deficit at any time where I can feed meal or some silage that have already baled off the products earlier in the season back to the cattle. It also tells me then that every paddock I go to will have the right amount of grass for the cattle so it's always, cattle always going into that leafy grass that I'm looking for. Uh, when I was getting into pasture base, the first thing that I did was I got a map. I used my area aid map and I split it up into as equally sized paddocks as I could, uh, depending on the size of the field. Obviously, that I couldn't get them all exactly the same size, but as close as I could. Then the second thing I had to do was to put up the fences. Some were temporary fences and some were more permanent fences. And the water trucks had to go in then as well, so I could have the water in the right place for the paddocks that I had just set up. The third thing then was go back to the computer and with the help of Bob we put it onto the pasture base website and that was quite simple that well Bob had done most of the work but it was uh, straightforward and very quick to do. During the grazing season I walk around each individual paddock that I've just set up and I use the plate meter just like this one here and I measure each paddock the amount of grass that's on each paddock and as I go around I then take out my phone as I finish each paddock and I upload the measurement that I've just got on the paddock onto my phone on the pasture base website and then all the information that I need is on my computer when I go inside then later on in the day or at night. I measure uh, about every week during the busy on the, the big main growing season and uh, but at this time of the year in the spring and the autumn is probably more once a fortnight or, or maybe even less so now that I have finished measuring all the grass in the fields, everything is now down on my computer, ready to be looked at. This is where the computer uh, highlights all the different things on the Pasture Base website. It gives me all the benefits and everything that Pasture Base has to offer. I can see if the growth is above or below the demand line, which is the red line there. And that tells me if I can cut out a few paddocks if it's above or if it's below it means I'm running short and might have to feed meal. If the growth is above the demand line it means I am cutting paddocks out to get the grass back to that leafy stage that I want. The pasture base website will tell me exactly how many paddocks I need to cut out whether it be one, two or three or whatever it may be to get my demand line back in line with the growth that's there at the moment. In summary, I find the pasture base website very accurate. It helps me keep that leafy grass that I'm looking for in front of the cattle all season long. It tells me what paddocks to remove if I have too much grass and it accurately tells me and to remove whichever and how many paddocks. I don't have to top any paddocks anymore as I'm taking out the stronger ones for bale silage. So it means that when the cattle graze, I don't have to go in topping anymore. Uh, some people often asked me about the time it takes saying it takes too long and whatever else but I find that it takes me roughly an hour every time I measure and for that hour I get a lot of information back to help me to basically keep that grass there that stage I want it and to keep my animals fed on grass for a longer period during the year. 